Hey guys, so I'm going to quickly show you a quick method on getting rid of micro stuttering in any games. Obviously what this is going to do once you have completed it is in your memory cache. So your memory cache will slowly build up over time which will cause your game to micro stutter sometimes. So what this video is going to help you do is we're going to set a five minute timer so every five minutes this memory cache is going to be cleared and then it will slowly build up and then after five minutes it will clear five minutes it will clear so on so on forever and doing this will get rid of micro stuttering so that's pretty much what it's going to do and this is how you do it so obviously you're going to have to go to the description and click on the top link which will take you to this page and then you just want to come to this download page here and download once you have done that you should then find it in your downloads folder which you have it right here you're not going to want to open this you just want to right click and copy that so once you have copied that you want to go to whichever hard drive i have five hard drives here you want to go to whichever one you have your windows downloaded on so for my local disk i have windows so we now know that my local disk is the one i want to do it to and then we go to program files and once you have opened program files you just want to come to the right and make a new folder and then name it empty standby list which i already have done up here so you just want to make a new folder and name it this let me just quickly get rid of this one now so once you have done that you then want to you then want to open it and copy and paste the thing you just downloaded into here once you have done that you want to click it once and then go to properties you then want to go to compatibility and make sure you have run this program as an admin and then you want to come to general and make sure you have it on read only just so your computer doesn't mess up the files and setting it to read only makes it so this file can no longer be edited if you want to edit it in future you just have to take this off so you want to click ok and then you just want to come ahead and close all the folders you then want to come to your, the bottom left at start and search up task scheduler right here once you have task scheduler open you want to create a task which you find on the right here once you have this open you just want to name your task whatever you want just name it empty it's the most reasonable one and then make sure you have run with hard privileges on and make sure it's on hidden you then want to come over to triggers and set a new trigger this trigger is basically what's going to set off the action that will take place every five minutes to clear the memory cache. So you want to then repeat task every, well you want to tick this and then make it so it's every five minutes for the duration of pretty much forever. You want this to go on for forever. You want to then click OK and then come over to actions. You want to then click new when you are at actions and then click browse and then go to the folder that you just made in your program files and then just click this and then click open you should have something that looks like this and then you just want to click ok and click ok i already have one so it's going to come up with that but you just want to click ok and that is pretty much it you're gonna then know if it's working because if you come to task scheduler library and scroll down and find the one that you just named and then make sure that the status of it is either says ready or running that way you know it works make sure it's not disabled and that is pretty much it and then i'm just going to prove to you that the memory cache will now be cleared every five minutes